more than a year later and the Gross Eel Parkway Bridge is still closed after severe structural damage was found. A 7 Action News investigation discovered that important inspections of the bridge were skipped for the, years. Yeah, and the bridge is the main passage onto the island and now residents have to rely on a single toll bridge to get back and forth. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass tells us residents fear this delay could continue even longer and why construction still hasn't begun. Well, traveling has become a financial burden for many people who live on Gros Seal, having to pay at that toll bridge every time they return home. Meanwhile, construction on the other free bridge is still held up because of permits. None of us thought it was going to take this long. Next week is the 36th year of the Gros Eel Island Fest. Last year was impacted by COVID, and this year, a closed bridge. Look, June 1st, all outdoor restrictions are lifted, right? But still, we can't use the bridge. Director Chad Novak says the festival still has a packed schedule of events, but no carnival rides. The equipment is too heavy for the only bridge that's operating, the toll bridge. The community, most of them are devastated that we have no rides. The Parkway Bridge is the only freeway onto the island and accounts for 75% of the traffic. It's already been closed for a year and work to fix it still isn't being done. If this thing starts too late, it's not going to be done by October. If the weather goes bad, we have to wait till spring. Bill Heil is president of the Gross Eel Civic Association. He and his neighbors have paid thousands of dollars in tolls this past year, and construction was supposed to start in April. That's roughly six weeks ago, and then nothing has started yet, and we are waiting permits. The Wayne County Department of Public Services says they're still waiting for permits from the Army Corps of Engineers and the Michigan Department of Great Lakes and Energy, also called EAGLE. And as soon as they issue those permits, our contractors is ready to mobilize within a week, get this construction started, and hopefully still maintain our goal of opening this bridge in the fall of 2021. And remember, the fall can go all the way to December. But December is a long way away. The Civic Association drafted a letter to Eagle requesting the permits be expedited, citing multiple issues, including a financial injustice. The letter referenced the findings of a seven action news investigation and included a link to this story from May of 2019. How important is the underwater inspection. Oh, it's critically important. The support piers hold up the entire bridge. In that story, seven investigator Heather Catalo discovered the support piers of the bridge were supposed to be reinspected every three years, but that an inspection wasn't done for at least 10 years. The seven investigators also discovered that the person in charge of those inspections, Timothy Drakeford, was fired by Wayne County for falsifying records and neglect of duty. In 2018, he told seven investigators that he was instructed to simply copy and paste his old inspection sheets. I'm not wanting to put blame on anybody. I'm wanting to just get the situation resolved. As for residents on the island, they're tired of the expensive tolls and the inconvenience, hoping next year's Island Fest will finally be back to normal. It's mind boggling to all of us that it's taken this long. Now, we did ask the Wayne County Department of Public Services if there were any plans to help out Gross Seal residents financially with the payments of these tolls, and they said that it's something that is not allowed with their funding. Reporting near Gross Seal, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, Brett, thank you. And for more on the history of the Gross Eel Parkway Bridge and the setbacks that have forced the ongoing closures, visit our website, wxyz.com.